Hey, Knowles fans, I'm Blake Devine, sports editor of the FSVU, alongside my partner, Michael Hudak, staff writer. Tonight, a huge game for the Knowles and from the biggest crowd ever at the Tucker Center. And tonight, Michael, the Knowles deliver, delivering an 88 to 72 victory against number seven Duke. The Knowles now improved to 4-0 overall against ranked opponents and 4-0 overall in ACC play. Michael, tell me a little bit about the bench's performance tonight, outscoring Duke 56 to 28. The depth can make all the difference in the ACC, and Leonard Hamilton has said it over and over again, and even the opposing coaches that come in here, uh, they say that when you got a team like that that has 12, 13 players deep, and anyone can come on here, anyone can make an impact, and anyone can shoot from anywhere, anywhere on the floor, and they can defend basically about anybody, that makes a big difference because starters can come in with nine, eight, seven minutes left in the second half and be fully rested, be fully ready, and yet the team itself has not lost a beat, and that played a huge impact tonight, uh, and Duke just didn't have enough of it. They didn't have Emil Jefferson tonight, fair enough. That's a big loss, especially in the paint, and FSU dominated in the paint, they scored 56 points in the paint, but at some point, you look over at that Duke bench, and they just didn't have an answer for the depth. Yeah, obviously a big game from XRM, scoring 21 points, hit three three-pointers, and also had three assists and two rebounds. And overall, four players scoring in double digits for Florida State. Talk a little bit more about how Florida State's players are just maturing on a big stage. Absolutely, and Xavier Rattan Mays just said it in the post-game press conference. We saw this guy, his freshman year, score 35 points in five minutes against Miami on the road. He was the main facilitator of that team. He was the main player on that team, the only guy that could score. The next year happens, last year, Malik Beasley and Dwayne Bacon are here. You got a lot of firepower, you got a lot of great players on the team, but you don't really know what to do with it. This year's team, led by XRM, who has been tremendous not turning the ball over, led by him and led by guys like Dwayne Bacon, everybody knows their role. Everybody's working together, there's connectivity, and this team just really flows that way. When you got guys that can score 10, 11, 12 points a game, that's a big thing, but what really stands out is that it's a different guy every night. Dwayne Bacon had a pretty good performance against Virginia with the game-winning shot. He saw, shot six of nine from beyond the arc in that game. And then he comes home to Virginia Tech, and it's Terrence Mann that scores 22 points. And Xavier Rutan Mays had that game tonight. He's a facilitator, he's a scorer, and he's really matured to a high level. Obviously a huge win for the Knowles tonight in front of the home stadium and all the fans. Next week, or next Saturday, may I say, they will be traveling to Chapel Hill to take on North Carolina. A big daunting test for the Seminoles, but tonight they come up victorious. From Michael Hudak, I'm Blake Devine for the FSVU signing out.